characters? So uh, this is one from my brain. This is from The Wizard of Oz. So on the left side is the actual words that uh, I heard. When she had finished her meal and was about to go back to the road of yellow brick, she was startled to hear a deep groan nearby. And the decoded version of this is on the right. It's, I was about to head back to school, and I hear this strange voice calling out to me. So it gets some things right. So this like was about to go back, was about to head back. It completely misses some things, like mm -hmm. the road of yellow brick versus school. But then it gets this, uh, this nice kind of example. So she hears something, and then instead of a deep groan nearby, it said a strange voice calling out to me. It means sure. something related, even if it's not exactly the right words. Still pretty incredible to think that was about to head back is something that just by scanning your brain. <laughs> yeah. I think that's one of the things that's really surprising to us about this. It can get things like that. It can get these entire phrases of exact words. Mm. Okay, so here's this same segment for you. Now, so we... Ex you just got a glimpse of a fresh clip from CNN. Stay tuned, because we'll be airing the full segment right at the close of this video. Before we dive into that, we're excited to share some of our own insights with you. Don't forget to show your support by hitting the like button. And if you haven't already, follow and subscribe for more content like this. We're eager to see your thoughts in the comment section below, and we'll definitely be jumping into the conversation. The concept of mind reading has been relegated to the domains of science fiction and psychic parlor tricks for as long as we've imagined the possibility. However, with the rapid advancements in artificial intelligence, particularly technologies similar to that which powers ChatGPT, we might be on the cusp of turning this fantasy into a startling reality. AI like ChatGPT relies on sophisticated algorithms that process vast amounts of data to understand and predict human language with remarkable accuracy. This capability is a stone's throw away from parsing not just the words we feed into a system, but the ones we hesitate to voice out loud the thoughts we harbor in the recesses of our minds. Consider this. Our brain signals are much like the data we input into these AI systems. They're electrical impulses representing information that, in theory, could be decoded. Emerging neural interface technologies demonstrate that we can already translate brain activity into action, enabling people to control prosthetics or computers directly with their thoughts. Pair this with an AI system adept at comprehending human intent, and you bridge the gap between internal thought and external comprehension. Critics might argue the ethical implications of such technology are profound. The invasion of our most private sanctum, the mind, opens a Pandora's box of privacy concerns that society is scarcely prepared to tackle. The potential misuse by governments or other entities is not to be taken lightly. On the flip side, the benefits for those unable to communicate verbally could be life-changing, giving them a voice where they previously had none. Furthermore, the technology's implications for understanding mental health are significant. Imagine an AI capable of detecting thought patterns associated with depression or anxiety before they manifest into more severe symptoms. The preventative care possibilities are endless. Nevertheless, we must approach this dawn of potential mind-reading AI with cautious optimism. The power to decode thoughts must be accompanied by rigorous ethical standards and robust frameworks to protect the intricate tapestry of individual privacy. As we advance, it's imperative to ensure that humanity's cognitive liberty remains intact in the face of such transformative technologies. So uh, this is one from my brain. This is from The Wizard of Oz. So on the left side is the actual words that uh, I heard. When she had finished her meal and was about to go back to the road of yellow brick, she was startled to hear a deep groan nearby. And the decoded version of this is on the right. It's, I was about to head back to school, and I hear this strange voice calling out to me. So it gets some things right. So this like was about to go back, was about to head back. It completely misses some things, like mm -hmm. the road of yellow brick versus school. But then it gets this, uh, this nice kind of example. So she hears something, and then instead of a deep groan nearby, it said a strange voice calling out to me. It means sure. something related, even if it's not exactly the right words. Still pretty incredible to think that was about to head back as something that just by scanning your brain. <laughs> yeah. I think that's one of the things that's really surprising to us about this. It can get things like that. It can get these entire phrases of exact words. Mm. Okay, so here's this same segment for you. Now, so we expected mine not to be great. Because we haven't trained the model on you. 
The whole day I'd be fine, but she wanted me to make it to her place. First I got a little excited about it. <laughs> the reason it wasn't able to decode my brain was because the technology currently needs people to sit in the fMRI machine for more than 16 hours, so the AI models can train on specific people's brains. Are we going to live in a world where, you know, I can walk by somebody on the street and they'll be able to hold something up to my head and they'll know what I'm thinking. Currently, we're very far from that. That might also never be possible. We can't completely rule it out, but as far as we know, that certainly won't be possible in the next few decades. The real potential application of this is actually helping people who are unable to speak without them needing to get neurosurgery. Now we have this like snapshot of the brain. And Jerry Tang explained how they used OpenAI's GPT large language model to help decode the brain. The GPT model is made up of millions of pages of text from the internet that the AI trains on and learns how sentences are constructed and how people talk and think. GPT basically made our predictions a lot better. But it doesn't just work listening to audio. Professor Hu showed us what happened when he watched a movie with no sound while his brain was scanned. Watch as the technology is able to decode what his eyes are seeing. She then took my hand and held it to her lips. She kissed it. I smiled and oh my she pulled God. me in for a hug. I got her back for about hours. I had to stop the bleeding and gave her my shirt to put over it. It's pretty good. I don't know, it's, it's a pretty That's good description of what was happening here. Wow. Should we be scared by the work people like you are doing? We think it's really important to continually evaluate um, the implications of brain